the fruits of your redemption who live and reign with God the Father in the unity of the Holy Spirit one God for ever and ever A reading from the book of Exodus. Moses went and told the people all the commands that the Lord and all Moses went and told the people all the commands of the Lord and all the ordinances. In answer, all the people said with one voice, We will observe all the commands that the Lord has decreed. Moses put all the commands of the Lord into writing. And early next morning, he built an altar at the foot of the mountain with 12 standing stones for the 12 tribes of Israel. Then he directed a certain young Israelists to offer holocausts and to emulate bullocks to the Lord as communion sacrifices. Half of the blood Moses took up and put into basins, and the other half he cast on the altar. And, taking the book of the covenant, he read it to the listening people, and they said, We will observe all that the Lord has decreed. We will obey. Then Moses took the blood and cast it towards the people. This, he said, is the blood of the covenant that the Lord has made with you, containing all these rules. The word of the Lord. The cup of salvation I will raise. I will call on the Lord's name. The cup of salvation I will raise. I will call on the Lord's name. How can I repay the Lord for his goodness to me? The cup of salvation I will raise. I will call on the Lord's name. The cup of salvation I will raise. I will call on the Lord's name. O precious in the eyes of the Lord is the death of his faithful. Your servant, Lord, your servant am I. You have loosened my bonds. The cup of salvation I will raise. I will call on the Lord's name. A thanksgiving sacrifice I make. I will call on the Lord's name. My vows to the Lord I will fulfill before all his people. The cup of salvation I will raise. I will call on the Lord's name. A reading from the letter to the Hebrews. Now Christ has come as the high priest of all the blessings which were to come. He has passed through the greater, the more perfect tent, which is better than the, than the one made by men, because it is not of this created order. And he has entered the sanctuary once and for all, taking with him not the blood of goats and bulls calves, but his own blood. Having won an eternal redemption for us, the blood of goats and bulls and the ashes of the heifer are sprinkled on those who are incurred defiantly, and they restore the holiness of their outward lives. How much more effectively the blood of Christ, who offered himself as the perfect sacrifice to God through the eternal spirit, can purify our inner self from dead actions, so that we do our service to the living God. He brings a new covenant as a mediator, only so that the people who were called to an eternal inheritance 
may actually receive what was promised. Is death to place to cancel the sins that infringed the earlier covenant? The word of the Lord. Alleluia, alleluia. I am the living bread which has come down from heaven, says the Lord. Anyone who eats this bread will live forever. Alleluia. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Mark. 